gonna it's gonna sound a little Pollyannish, so forgive me. Um, I'm still get to do it, right? You know when uh, it sounds sort of silly, but I, you know I grew up in Colorado, right? You know, and nobody did it. Well, I didn't know anybody who did it, and I didn't have any of my family who did it, and so the big challenge for me was all along was would I really get to do it? And there was a lot of years where I wasn't sure. You know, I mean, so I still get kind of a thrill just kind of driving onto the lot. And I have to remind myself sometimes, you know, when you're directing something and you come out and you look around and you realize, oh, wait a second, there are like 40 trucks out here and 200 people. And, you know, and then I think like, oh, yeah, I still get to do this. That's really it, right? Do you, I think... The, the real danger is that you start to think of things as individual moments and stop thinking about just that, that what we all really want to do is just have a career where at the end of it, you're still doing it, you know. Um, I ended up oddly being friends with, uh, and they're lovely, with uh, David Crosby and Graham Nash. I got to know them through some unusual circumstances. But I went to one of the recording sessions uh, in one of their albums and uh, more recent albums, and David was very frustrated with the fact he said, I think the music's pretty good and I don't know if anybody will hear it. You know, we're 70 years old and who listens to our music anymore? And uh, Graham looked at him and said, we're still playing music, man, right? That's my, that's my proudest accomplishment. I'm going to be 60 in a few months and they haven't thrown me out of the business yet, you know? So I actually got to do it. 